Hey guys, thanks for watching the first video in a new series that I'm starting called Answers for a Friend or AFAF. The idea with this series is that I will make answers to common questions that I get from friends that ask me things because they know that I work in IT. And if you have a similar experience where you have people asking you questions like this, hopefully you can just share this link with them and it'll help give them uh, an answer to their question. The question that we're answering today is what kind of computer should you buy? And to answer this question, you basically need to consider three different things. The first question you need to answer is, what is your budget? How much are you willing or able to spend on a computer? I find a common misconception that people assume that if you spend a lot more on a computer, it'll work better. And that's not necessarily true. You can buy a computer that meets your needs for as little as three or $400. The second question is, what will you be using this computer for? Now, answering this question requires some honesty. I know many college students who tell their parents they need a computer for school when really they want to play video games with it. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, there may be some people who are thinking about getting into video editing, but they're not really sure. I would recommend finding out if that's something you really want to do before you invest a large amount of money in a high-end computer. I'm going to describe three basic categories of computer users. Now, the first one would be casual. A casual user just wants to stream YouTube or Netflix or videos of any kind, and maybe they want to send some emails, uh, write school papers, work on spreadsheets, basic office work. Now, this is a casual user because none of these processes requires a lot of computing power. This would definitely be the tier of computer user that could get away with a usable computer for three to five hundred dollars you could get a good laptop and you don't need a lot of storage um, because most of these solutions are cloud-based which means it doesn't store the information locally on your computer it stores them on servers somewhere in the cloud the second category of computer user that i'll describe is the gamer now if you're a gamer you probably already know you want a good graphics card and depending on what games you're playing and what your desire is for the level of the graphics to be set to when you're playing you're going to want to do your own research and make sure that you get a graphics card that's adequate for what you want but not overkill a good analogy for overkill is buying a lamborghini to commute to work you don't want to buy a computer that's way more capable than what you need because if you're driving a Lamborghini to work, you're never going to use its full potential. You're probably not going to take proper care of it and you're not going to want to repair it when it breaks because it's going to be super expensive. So you want to make sure you get exactly what you need. Now, a special note with uh, the gamer is if you want to use virtual reality, you want to make sure that the computer has the right amount and type of USB ports to support uh, wired virtual reality headset. The other possibility is you could stream your games that you're running on your desktop to your headset if you have the correct type of Wi-Fi network. The third type of computer user that I'll describe is the professional. For the professional, you might want to consider, do you want uh, multiple monitors how are you going to attach them do you want to put them on your desk do you want to attach them to the wall these are all things that you should factor into your budget also included in that would be software solutions are you going to need to buy really expensive adobe software or any type of proprietary tool that you will be using uh, for work or to make money now the third question that i would ask yourself is what are the non-negotiables for you are there any special features you're looking for? Do you want a really nice built-in, no-hassle webcam? Uh, are you looking for a laptop or are you looking for a desktop? Do you want to be able to take this to work and to back to home uh, or to a coffee shop? If you want your computer to be portable, obviously you need a laptop. And typically these are easier to set up, but harder to upgrade. So if you want something that you could upgrade in the future and potentially add more local storage, then you'd probably want to go with the desktop. Desktops also have more inputs and output ports, so if you're going to want a three screen setup or you want to attach a lot of per peripherals like webcams and things like that, then you'll probably want a desktop. Along with the non-negotiables, I will say you need to choose whether you want Mac or Windows. Now, I generally recommend people to stick with whatever they're used to because it's difficult for people to change. However, if you're a Windows user and you have a problem with clicking on things you shouldn't and you get lots of pop-ups and software, 
that you don't want on your computer, also known as adware or bloatware, then you may consider switching to Mac as Macs typically have less issues with this type of thing. If you've considered all of these questions, you hopefully now have a really good idea of what you're looking for. But just to help a little more, I'll list a couple of different computers down in the description. They're not affiliate links. I just want to give you an idea of how much you would want to spend and what you would be looking for for each of the three categories I've described. If you want someone to sign off on your choice, put it in the comments down below. Or if you get a question really often from friends that know that you work in IT and you want me to make a video about that, put that down below too. Do you want to know more about the different types of computer components like RAM, CPU, and storage? Check out this video. Bye.